Well, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Well, hello everyone. It's me, Christine, again. And bitch, we got ourselves some new shelves. Check them out. Look at this. The space is so big and so wide that you can hear me echo three times. Three times. Me echo three times. times. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I can actually spin around because now I have room to do so. So I apologize for the echo. We're gonna have to figure that out. <laughs> Maybe once I fill up my shelves with my thousands of nail polish, then it'll just, you know, absorb the sound. We got all my nail polish right here waiting to be unpacked. But before we get into that, I gotta tell you about my shelves. <laughs> hired a local cabinet building company here in Ottawa to help us design and build the shelves. Also, this isn't sponsored. We paid for the shelves, but actually come to think of it, it's kind of like you guys helped pay for the shelves. Because every time you watch one of my videos and you get a little ad, we get a little money, and then we take that money and we go spend it on the outbound <laughs> shelves. <laughs> and so we shall declare that this video and these shelves were sponsored by you guys. Thank you, Janice. Thank you, Carol. Thank you, Tom, for watching my videos. They may look just like plain old black shelves, but they're actually quite expensive because a lot of work goes into designing them to custom fit the space and then build them exactly how we wanted them. If it were that simple, we would have just gone to Ikea. First, we met with the shelf designer. That's a cool job. And we planned out the shelves on their 3D rendering program. <laughs> That's yes. so cool, it looks like The Sims. Basically, you'll have lower storage all over here. We'll make these so that your couch is just below it. So it's the entire wall. Mm -hmm. The entire wall will be filled with nail polish. <laughs> wow. So this is real uh, carpentry. Yep. Mm -hmm. We'll build it all here. It's amazing. <laughs> and is it your secret boyfriend? Oh my god, no, I love One Direction. <laughs> Any One Directioners out there? Now I knew I wanted a shelf big enough to allow for expansion <laughs> of my collection. So we decided to line this entire 11 foot wide wall with shelves <laughs> from left to right. And it goes all the way up to the ceiling. Basically, I wanted the Jaclyn Hill of closets, but for nail polish. I chose a matte black finish so it looked pretty much exactly the same as my old shelves. <laughs> I don't like change. <laughs> kind of prefer a black backdrop because it helps make the hollow pop. <laughs> and then we got some cabinets down at the bottom. That's where we're gonna put the creme polishes. <laughs> I don't think the designer thought that this shelf was a good idea for resale, considering how it's pretty much permanently stuck to the wall now. <laughs> but you know what? It's not a problem because I'm just never gonna move again. <laughs> Once the design was done, the shelves got sent for building slash painting. And then the install day was finally here. Xyler was pretty excited by the lasers, and honestly, so was I. Do you see what they're doing? They're using lasers to see how straight the walls are. Like, how cool is that? It's the f matrix. Electricians were also needed because we had some electrical wiring done to power a couple transformers that we hid in the cabinets under the shelves to power some LED lights that lined all 13 rows of shelves. Looks like uh, Twizzlers. Don't misspell it. <laughs> That's how I was gonna spell it, but yeah. I was like, uh... Nail Polish. Yeah, maybe lining it with lights made it overly complicated and far more expensive. But when it comes to my nail polish, it deserves the best treatment there is. We're gonna power it up later. First, the lower cabinets went up to act as a support, and apparently walls are never straight, so they had to do some shimming on the backboards of the cabinets and shelves, which basically means shoving shit behind them so that they sit flush to the wall. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? I learned things about construction. And then they just lifted up the shelves. Just like that. It's easy. Right against the wall, and then I'll let you get out. We're gonna lift. It fits. Okay. Ben tried to help them put up the shelves, but I was like, Ben, you need to relax. It's okay, Ben. So have you ever built or installed a nail polish shelf before? No, this would be a first. So many, many kitchens and many, many doors and frames and no nail polish units? No nail polish units, that's the first. What's wrong with people? <laughs> the back of your shirt says simply. Yeah, it's just easy. Just goes up, simply. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like you, I also wonder if the shelf builders just thought I was a crazy person. There were a couple finishing touches left, like adding some fillers to border the shelves nicely. The lower cabinet doors went on, and Xyler was still supervising. Menchie was hiding, she hates other people. She's kind of like me. 
They also made us a bunch of little shelf inserts so we can have like a double layer in each shelf. And there you have it, my friends, my new nail polish shelves. up all my nail polish in about seven hours. You can see that really exciting process in last week's video. <laughs> we hired movers because I'm not breaking a nail. <laughs> the movers probably also thought I was a crazy person. Please be careful. Ah! <laughs> If anyone breaks any of my nail polishes, I will break them. <laughs> we can't forget this set of nails. And then we said goodbye to our old home. <laughs> I'll miss you nail polish room. <laughs> That's it. That's all. I hope you're okay in there. <laughs> the desk has arrived. We're keeping it. <laughs> Would you look at this? I got my own red carpet for my own sweatpants fashion show. <laughs> I think this is funny, Ben. We're all judging you. Ben! That's one of the old shelves. There's the new shelves. Holy shit, eh? And now, here we are! F now I gotta unpack. Hopefully nothing broke. Please leave a prayer down in the comments. It will change the outcome. You ready? This is a dangerous weapon. I should not be trusted with that. Where is Ben? Ben! Ben! It's okay, nobody has to get hurt. Here's your tea. That's right. See how to train your drinks life. Put down the knife. <laughs> oh my god, I spelled my name right. It's a fucking miracle. This will be fun for you. Actually, I'm really looking forward to it. Like, I'm not kidding. This is really exciting. Who packed this? I know what you're thinking. You're probably like, Christine, you can't even reach the top shelf. Well, Carol, let me show you. With this simple three step step ladder, I can reach all the way to the top. <laughs> this is a good opportunity to actually count how many bottles of nail polish I have. I guess we'll find out soon exactly how bad this problem has gotten. <music> by color or by brand? That is the question. I'm gonna do the same thing I had at the old place and organize by brand because I find if you do it by color, that's really hard because there's all different types of colors of all. <laughs> but also because I personally find it just looks messy. If you have like a big bottle and then a little bottle and then a bigger bottle, like no, 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 we cannot have that. <laughs> strategy was extra. I saw some comments saying, why don't you just throw your nail polish in the plastic bin? It'll be a lot faster. Would you throw your children in a plastic bin? 
You bad mother. It's like a surprise what brand I'm gonna find. What brand in this burrito? Oh, it's Zoya. Oh, Zoya girl, how are you doing? It's been so long. <laughs> now, where do we put you, Zoya? You see, you can't go in the middle because that's prime real estate. <laughs> We're gonna have to put you over to the side. How about over here in right field? <laughs> This is kind of like Christmas. I'm unwrapping nail polish all over again. Where do I put you? What do I do with you? Oh, that sounds exactly like what my parents used to say to me when I was growing up. Bin number three. Essie, where the f*** should we put you? Essie's like that girl in high school who thinks she's super popular, but she's really just kind of annoying. You see, I have quite the personal history with my nail polishes. And the next box. I really do have a lot of nail polish. I have so much nail polish that nail salons are jealous. Simply Nailogical, nail salons hate her. Oh my god, it's a Chanel polish? Who bought me this? I didn't buy this myself. <laughs> Can't get through here. To the bubble wrap wrap and the bubble wrap fatty wrap get. Is this my food? You bring me food so I can survive? Come on, doggy. Up. Oh, good boy. <laughs> Guys, look, Xyler is here. Xyler's never here. What's going on, bud? Have you been counting as you go? So that's something you might have to do in post. <laughs> Who is this? Healthy food, Ben. What am I, a f***ing rabbit? <laughs> okay, what's next? Ugh, I'm getting too old for this shit. Oh my god, I have so many shelves to fill. It's great. <laughs> came out with a sinful colors nail polish line. Do you think her nail tech uses this when she gets her acrylic nails? I'm not sure about that. Oh thank god the unicorn pee made it. You know how rare this is? So rare that no one cares anymore. <laughs> how you doing? Need a break? Just a kick eye bar. I feel like my hair started off looking like a nice braid and now it's like all disheveled. This is a hollow bed that one of you guys sent me to my P.O. box. Custom made for Menchi. <laughs> now we gotta test it out. Menchi, come here. Menchi. Oh my god, she's going in. She's inspecting to make sure it's real hollow. We gotta give her time and space, you know? She's gotta touch everything with her face for at least three hours before she picks a spot and sits down. Hello, that strategy. Put all the brand in my pocket. Then we take them out as needed. What the f is this? Yeah, there's like six other from that brand. I just don't know which box it's in, so it's really annoying that I can't like find all six pieces of that puzzle to put together on the same shelf. So now it's just sitting all there by itself, not knowing where the rest of its family is. That's so sad. Okay, can we go to bed, maybe? Do you want to hear the story of the frog and the scorpion? <laughs> How can I help? What do you want? What do you want from me? You're f hilarious. I'm just gonna reply. Have you been sniffing these as you put them on the shelf? Can we play some royalty-free music? <laughs> Give me that burrito. F More color clubs. I don't have enough room for any more color gloves, Ben! That means I have to reorganize another shelf above the color gloves, and then it's a domino effect, and all the shelves need to change! Jesus Christ! You're f***ing insane! Very hard. This is such a first world problem! I can't organize my 3,000 bottles of nail polish! You don't like how I did it? No. She's right. You're gonna have to redo it all. <laughs> Then, I think I need to update my will. Yeah, for what? For my new nail polish shelves. <laughs> They're not in here. Don't worry, I'll leave them to you. Have you found any broken ones from the move? No. No, eh? Expert packing. I'm so high. Uh, Ben, if you have something to say, you should say it to the class, please. Say it!
something, say something. Now you gotta get it. Got a bit of a bit of a bit. Bam! Very close. I was about to fire you. Could you? <laughs> Okay, we're going to bed. See you tomorrow. So I found more nail polish upstairs last night. I know this is a lot of work, but I'm having a great time. Are you having a great time? Watching me have a great time? Cheers to that. Okay, back to work. Did you sniff all my hollows last night? I think I'm allergic to nail polish. It's impossible. I'd be dead by now. I think there are people who are actually allergic to nail polish. My heart goes out to them. <laughs> Wasn't one of her first ideas, the dermatologist, that you might be, you know, allergic reacting to, to nail, nail polish. polish? Yeah, and I was like, bitch, you better shut the f*** up! <laughs> I guess we ruled that out, though. Yeah. Thank God, or else my career would be over. <laughs> Benji, what the f*** are you doing? You think you're queen of the castle or something? It's the last box. Christian Louboutin, I don't think you're gonna fit in my shelves. We can put you right in here. <laughs> okay, goodbye. We don't give a f about your designer high-end status. Hold on. I gotta pee up the tea. I'll be right back. I'm gonna load up. The kangaroo pouch. I feel like I can enter my own nail polish store, and rob the place, and then run. <laughs> oh, oh. Ow. Christine, you're an idiot. No! I would never make it as a criminal. <laughs> Obviously, I've got some blank space here. Haha, <laughs> Taylor Swift, don't come for me. In the past, people have asked me, what happens when there's an earthquake? Isn't this a dumb idea? There's like never earthquakes where I live in Canada. <laughs> Please don't jinx me. <laughs> so, what do you think? I don't think that. You're not even looking at them, Ben. You gotta look at the gels. <laughs> One thing I like a lot about them is that this room, despite being like fully brand new and professional, kind of looks really similar to my old nail polish room. Yeah, actually, like, <laughs> looking at it on camera on the screen right now, it's kind of shocking how much it looks the same. You know when they say like top shelf liquor or top yeah. shelf something, as if it's like really good. Yeah, you got some top shelf polish up there. Well, no, because I can't reach, so I actually put the ones I don't care about on the <laughs> <laughs> It's strange to see, like, gaps in the shelves. Yeah. We're gonna have to do something about that. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I'm gonna need to buy some more nail polish. <laughs> I think it's starting to feel like home, except we're missing one thing. Yeah, what's that? The cat clock. Hold on, I got it. I'll put you in charge of this one. Oh, actually, I don't know if you sure? can be trusted. You, you want to hire a professional for this? <laughs> well, there's a stud there, actually, if I put it out a little bit. Now there's a stud right here. <laughs> it looks perfect! Yay! Thank you, Ben. <laughs> Didn't we take the batteries out to put it in a kid's nail toy? Don't mind if I do. Oh, maybe. Yeah, we did. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Alright, do you want to play a game? Not really. <laughs> Let's guess how many polishes I have, and then we're gonna count after the fact and see who was closest. You haven't been counting? No, I <laughs> couldn't keep track. <laughs> this is like guessing the number of jelly beans in a jar sort of thing. Yeah, except more exciting. If I guess closer, we get to go on vacation. Ben! I got so much to organize! <laughs> and if I guess closer, I get to embarrass you in another video. It's like pretty much every video. <laughs> it's <you're not> <laughs> okay, it's gonna happen anyway. Okay, on these okay, shelves. what's on the shelves? I think you have 1,650. So don't do the prices right thing and just guess one more than that. Well, you went first, so I can do whatever I want. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> What'd you say? 
I said 1650. 1651! <laughs> Before we reveal the answer, pause the video and guess in your head. Let's see how well you do. <laughs> no cheating! Unless it's water marbling. That was okay. a throwback. Yeah. Yeah? You witch? Yeah. <laughs> forgot we gotta turn the lights on half the cost of all this was literally to get the lights in <laughs> you ready we're gonna go for maximum effect So much for watching. E excuse me, what are you doing? Are you ending my <laughs> video? A mushy sock thanks you once again for giving me a life where this was possible. <laughs> what did I do to deserve all of this? What did I do? Honestly, though, what did I do? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just a little shrivelly sock. Thank you guys. I look like a little blue snow cone. This is the youth size hoodie. That's why the hood is so small. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see y'all next time. Bye.